Elementor powers over 13 million websites, making it the most popular page builder out there. The question is, is it easy to use? Is it great for beginners? Does it integrate with a lot of programs out there? And most importantly, is it fast? This is what we're going to find out in this review of Elementor 2023. After watching this video and you find that Elementor is the one for you, I have a link in the video description below to purchase it. This Elementor Pro review is going to cover many areas, including the layouts, the templates, integrations, speed, and also the new Flexbox container. Let's dive in and take a look. So Elementor comes in two flavors. There's the free basic version and there's also a pro version. So let's take a look at the basic version. So over here, I just wanna go through and show you how to install this. So I have a brand new website running WordPress. So let's see how easy it is to install Elementor. So I'm gonna go here to my dashboard and we're going to come straight here to the plugins and then click on add new. Next, we're going to search for Elementor. There we go, I'm gonna hit enter and here it is. I'm gonna click here on install now, and then I'm gonna activate. So immediately we get this uh, setup wizard. I'm just going to skip everything here. I don't need to create my account right now. So I'm just gonna continue, skip everything, and now we're good to go. So right away, it's talking about its new feature called the Flexbox container. This is really good. We're going to go into detail later on. So I'm just gonna close out of here and take a look and see what the limitations are with the free version. So when I scroll down here straight away, you can see that we cannot create posts, we cannot do portfolios, gallery, forms, all these things are locked. So there's also a few things that we can't do. So if I come over here to Elementor, click on templates, and then go to the theme builder. You notice that we cannot create our header, we cannot create footers, single pages, single posts, archives, and so on, even the 404 page. And this is why I prefer to use the pro version. So let's dive in and take a look at the pro version. Okay, so over here, I've already gone ahead and installed the pro version. And when I scroll down here, you notice that we have access to all these modules. Okay, brilliant. Now let's take a look and see how easy it is and how the interface works. So first of all, if you take a look at the top here, this is where we have the main Elementor logo. So when you click that, this now takes you to the theme builder, it takes you to the history, user preferences, keyboard shortcuts, and so on. This plus button here adds our elements. I keep saying modules because I'm used to using Divi, so I call them modules, but it's pretty much the same thing. Let's continue and call them elements. So here, is where you click this plus button to add an element. Over here, we have our site settings. So if I click here, this is going to uh, give us our global options. So let's say I want to set up my colors for my website. This is where all my branding colors would come. So at any point, if I need to uh, change this, I can always go in here, change the color, and this will be applied pretty much across the whole website. Next, we also have our global fonts. So this is where we would set all our fonts. So right now, by default, it's set to Roboto, but this is where you can go in and set all your fonts for your website. So ideally, this will be uh, the best way to, first of all, set all your fonts, set all your colors before you start designing your website. And I like the fact that this is on a central place, very, very easy to find. So what else can we do here? If I go down, we see that this is where we can also create our buttons. We can customize our images for our theme. And over here on the bottom, this is where you can go and set your site identity and so on. And we also have a place here for custom CSS. So everything is on the same page here. I think that is a fantastic thing. Now we also have more settings here. So this is mainly for just the page you're working on. Now, if I come over here to this gear icon, which says page settings, this gives me options for this particular page. For example, I can go ahead and do basic things like hiding my page title here, which I've already gone ahead and done. And we can also define our page layout. So if you don't want any headers and footers, this is where you'd come and set whatever layout you want. Over here, we also have the style and we also have the advanced where you can add your custom CSS for this particular page. And continuing on over here, this is also where we have our different mobile screens. So we have our portrait tablet here. We also have our mobile um, portrait. So it is very easy for us to cycle between these three options in order for us to make our website look uh, responsive and so that it looks the right way. So, and I like the fact that everything is on one screen. I don't have to click away to try and find things around. So that's a positive thing so far. Okay, what else do we have here? So let's go back to our desktop view. 
Now, as you're designing, there are moments where you may want to look at your site and see what it looks like. So normally you would hit save and then click on preview to preview the actual uh, page. But Elementor here has a feature where you just click on this little arrow here and this gives you now the full page and this will just give you an idea of what your design looks like as you're designing it without doing a preview. And for me, this is fantastic because the less times I'm clicking, the better for me. Okay, so moving on over here to the top, we have the finder. So this is where we can immediately start typing to get whatever it is we're looking for. So let's say I want to add a pop-up. You can see it's right here. If I click on that, this now leaves the site and takes me straight to the pop-up. So this also saves me a lot of time. I don't have to exit out of the website and then start clicking, 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 clicking around to find what it is I'm looking for. I can just search for it here in the finder and then just go directly to that particular thing. And I also think that this is also very good. Now, moving on, we also have our preview changes. So if you wanted to use uh, the preview itself, you can just click on here and this will give you the preview and it opens up in a new tab. Okay, so this time let's take a look and see how easy it is to build our page from scratch. So first of all, if you want to start to build anything in Elementor, take a look at this plus sign. This is where you're going to be adding your container, which is everything that houses all your designs. And then you also want to take a look at this plus sign over here at the top, which is used to add an element. So just think of this plus button every time you want to add anything on your website. So before I get started, let me just show you something quickly here. If I click on this plus button, you notice that we have a new layout here. So this is because I have activated the Flexbox way of designing your website. And this is the best way because it gives us more flexibility and it makes our pages really, really fast. So over here, if we take a look at the old way of designing websites, we notice that we have these columns and um, these are pretty much adding a lot of um, code to our website, making it very, very slow. And I'm sure a lot of you who are preferring to use Gutenberg is because of this reason. This old way of designing websites adds a lot of code onto your page because we're adding all these columns to build our website. So let me just show you quickly how we would do that. So let's say I choose that. You notice that we have two columns here. So let's add... Uh, items in here. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and let's say I want to add a bit of text in here. I'm going to drag and drop it. And then on the other one, I want to add an image. I'm going to click here on this plus button, drag and drop my image in here. So do you notice that everything is within these columns, right? Now let's do a similar thing, but this time using Flexbox. So if I come back over here, I can just simply go into my main structure here. I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to drag my two elements, click on this plus button. So like we did before, I'm going to drag and drop it here. So that's our text. Click on this plus button, add my image. So this is still in the same container. So now if I want this side by side, all I have to do now is to click over here on the container and then change my direction. And now I have the same layout. So if I take a look here, you notice that we have an image here. We also have our text here on the left. And if you want to further customize this, all you have to do is to click here on this main container and we can uh, now arrange this the way we want. So let's say, for example, we want this text to be centered. I can just go ahead and do that. And now it's centered. But we're also going to go into detail and show you how this actually works. So I wanted to show you the difference between the old way of designing websites and the new way of designing websites, which is the Flexbox container. Okay, so let's take a look now and see how easy it is to put a page together. So I know I'd already gone ahead and started uh, putting my page together here. So now let me show you how to activate this Flexbox or the new way of designing websites. So this is still in beta, so you need to go in and activate it. So back over here, we're going to go to Elementor and then click on settings. And then you want to go to features. And this is where it is. So normally what I do is I activate everything here and then just click on save. And pretty much now you have Flexbox activated on your site and now you can go ahead and start using it. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the interface further here. So I know I'd already gone ahead and started talking about um, the container, but this is where you choose your container. So if I click on this plus button here, this gives us um, the different types of uh, containers that we can use. So this here is the main one I use, but if you want to use uh, this type of structure here, you can go ahead and do that. So let's say you want to use this one, you're going to go ahead and select it. 
And again, you can see that this is in one container. So if you want to add any elements in here, you click on this plus button. And uh, let's say you want to add an image, drag and drop it just like that. Click again on this plus button. Let's say this time it's a video, drag and drop it. Okay. So how this works now is if you want to stylize this image here, you want to click here on this pencil icon. And then you want to maybe upload your image. So let's say this is the image you're going to work with. I'm going to select it. So at any point, if you want to make any changes, any stylizations to this, you want to click here on style. It's always the middle tab. So this is where you can adjust your width, your height, the opacity. You can play around with the opacity here as well, like that. Over here, we also have our CSS filters and so on. Now we also have the advanced tab. So this is where you can add your margins, your padding, we can also do things like positioning, there's motion effects, there's transform, there's, you can change your background, your borders. So there's a lot more features in the advanced tab, but it looks different depending on what you're working on. So let's say I want to add a text module here. Again, let's click on this plus button, drag our text and add it below. Okay, so similarly to how this uh, works, if you want to make any customizations to this text, you click here on style and this is where you get your color. So if you want to change your color here, update your color. If you want to add your typography or change your typography, you click over here. So let's say we want this to be poppins. We do that. Let's say you want to change your size. Now there's several ways you can add your sizes. You can use EMs, REMs, VW, and so on. I like using EMs. So let's say this is uh, 1.2. You can see here my size has increased which is fantastic. Now we also have other uh, other options here. We can make this uh, bold, medium, and so on. So let's say this is semi-bold. This is where you'll change that. Transformation, we can make it all uppercase if we needed to. So all the nitty gritties that you need regarding the text can be found here. So let me just bring this back to uh, normal. Okay, so moving on, we also have our text decoration here. We can underline things and so on. We also have letter spacing. We can add it here and also line height. So I like the fact that everything style-wise can be found on one single tab. I don't have to uh, close anything in order for me to start working on the text itself. So this for me is really, really cool. And I want you to also notice something. As I'm working on this site, this is not really changing. All I have to do is to activate whatever it is I need to work on and boom, just like that, all the items I need to customize here are now showing on the left. And I think this way of designing saves me a lot of time. Okay, now let's say I want to uh, make this mobile friendly. All you have to do while you're working on this is to click here on this view. So let's say this is how you want it. That's perfect. But let's go to our mobile. You know, you notice that in the mobile, everything has worked uh, automatically and that is brilliant. But if I want you to change anything in here, all I have to do is to click here on the container itself. And let's say I want this video on the top. All I have to do is to reverse the columns just like that, and now my video is on the top. So this is a very easy way of making sure that my mobile views are looking great as I'm designing my website. And this implementation of responsive design is very, 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 very easy. I really like the implementation of this. Okay, now let's move on to the next part and let's see how easy it is to design our websites using templates. Does Elementor come with its own templates and how easy it is, is it to, for us to use them? Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here now and delete everything that I have so far. So if you want to use templates, again, we are still on the same uh, page. We click here on this little uh, icon and this now is loading up what are known as blocks. So these are specific parts of the website which you can start adding onto your page. So let's say I need a specific hero um, area. I can just scroll through here and uh, choose the one that I like. And you can see some of these are already named. This one is called About Us. So this is where you'd come in and choose whatever it is that you want. So let's say I want to use this one. I can go ahead and click on Insert. So all I have to do now is to go in and change my images. So I'm going to come over here, click on the image and select it. Now notice that I'm still on the same window. If I need to change the background, I just click here, go to style. And this is where I go to change my background color. Let's say I want to go with black or maybe a slight gray. That's it. So it is very, very fast to use. If I need to update my uh, button, I can just click here on this little icon. It takes me to the button. I can then come over here to style, change my colors. So let's say my button needs to be a bit more like that. Just go ahead and select that. And uh, for the border, I can either remove it completely just by doing that 
and already I've just updated my button. Now, while we're on this page, I also want to talk about something that Elementor has added to their page builder. It's not live yet, uh, but I did a video yesterday, and this is the AI uh, of uh, Elementor, and I think this is really, really good. So as you're designing your website, this is going to make it easy for you to add copy onto your website as you're designing it. And also, sometimes you may purchase uh, these pre-made templates, which have uh, Laura Ipsum text on them. You can go in now and uh, type into the prompt. In fact, let me just show you. So over here, let's say I want to um, update this using AI. I can just click on this little pencil icon. And you're going to notice now that we have this right with AI. So I can click on this. And so straight away, I can give this a prompt. So here I'm giving AI the instruction to write a description for my company that sells online courses about fitness. So let's see what happens. I'm going to click here on generate text. Okay, so just like that, look at this text. So it says, welcome to our online fitness um, course store. We offer a wide range of courses that help you achieve your fitness, blah, 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 blah. Now, to be honest, I couldn't have come up with this uh, that quickly. It would have taken me a lot of time and I'm not that creative with uh, copywriting. So having this inbuilt in the builder, I think is fantastic. And we also have further features here where you can go in and make it shorter. So it takes a bit of time to shorten it, but also maintaining the actual messaging. Now look at that. This is fantastic. Now we also have even more features here. We can translate this into different languages. So I can choose Spanish, Russian, Portuguese, Polish, and so on. So this is really, really cool. If I click on use text, now my text has been added onto this uh, part of my site. So as you can see, as we're building, building our websites, this is working as a companion as I'm building my website. And I really, really like that this is integrated in the actual builder. So Elementor is doing a great job of uh, coming up with all these features that help us build fast websites, uh, beautiful layouts, and also the ability to add copywriting as we build our sites. Brilliant. So far, so good. Okay, let's move on. So let's say I wanted to add another section. I can just click here on this plus button or I can choose my pre-made blocks. So if I click here again, I can go to my blocks, scroll all the way down and find maybe something that's a bit different. So let's go with this one here. I'm gonna click insert. It'll take a bit of time and now it has been added onto my page. So I can just go in and then change this text as I build my website. That is brilliant, but the question now is, what if I need to add a complete page on my site as I'm designing it? Well, the option is there as well. I'm gonna come over here. So here we have pages. We have two ways of adding our pages here. We have uh, the wireframe mode, and we also have these designed pages. But me personally, I prefer the wireframe mode because let's say I want uh, the layout that looks like this. I can just go ahead and click on insert click on apply, and then I can just go in and start adding all my content into that wireframe structure. I find it very easy because if I use pages that already have images, colors, and so on, it's gonna take me time to uh, put all that together as I'm designing my site. Okay, so my wireframe here has been loaded. So all I have to do now is to go in and add all my images. So for example, I can just click here on this gear icon, click on my image, and then I can just add it just like that. Over here on the top, I don't need that. So any part that you don't need, just go ahead and delete it. And now you're left with just your layout. So again, we have options here to add our information. I can just click here, go into our image, add my image just like that. And I can continue on now and you can see how fast that is. If you want to add a color to the background, you can just come over here, go to style. And then we're gonna go to our background color here and choose our color. So I'm gonna go with a very light gray just to distinguish all my sections. Now, there's also a few things that I didn't show you here. Let's say you wanted to uh, add a color based on the image. There's also little uh, items here like samplers. I can just click on here and then I can sample a color from this image like that. And look at that. Now I can cycle through these and select it. So just like that, I was able to go in, sample a color, and add it onto my page. So you can design a website based on the colors in an image. And for those of you that find it very difficult to uh, find colors or create color palettes, this is a very, very quick and easy way of using that little feature. And I really, really like it. It's fantastic. 
Okay, so moving on, we also have other features here in this uh, builder. So we have uh, scrolling effects, so we can add parallax onto this if you wanted to. I think I've covered this already. And if you want to uh, go in and customize this, again, you can go in here and uh, change the layout. Let's reverse this and have the image on the top. And you can see here now the images on the top and everything is looking great. Now, every website has a header and a footer. So I want to see how easy it is to create headers and footers in Elementor. So to do that, we need to go into the uh, theme builder. So over here on the top, if you go to this logo and click on it, this is what happens. If you, we have theme builder, we have history, preferences, and so on. So I want to go straight to the theme builder. And at the moment here, we have this header. So let's quickly build a header here and see how easy it is to do that. Okay, so I want to go in and delete this. So I'm going to come to these three little dots. And by the way, this is how this works. If you want to delete anything, you can just go ahead and delete it. Now, if I come over here to my site and refresh this, you're going to notice now that we don't have a header and a footer. Okay, so let's build one from scratch and see how easy it is. I'm going to click here on this plus button to add new. So first of all, it gives us a few ideas here of uh, these pre-made uh, headings that we can use on our site. But I don't want to do that. I want to go straight to uh, build one from scratch. So I'm going to come over here to templates. And we can see here that we have nothing. But if you can also add all your templates in here and use them whenever you want. So let's build our header here from scratch. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and I'm going to choose my structure here. So the first thing we're going to need here is a logo. So again, how do we add a logo in here? Click here on this plus button to add an element, drag and drop your site logo. Next, we want to add our menu. So again, I'm going to click on this plus button. Now let's drag our menu and here it is, drag and drop it. If we wanted to add a button, we click here on this plus button scroll all the way down here or we can just search for our button over here like that drag and drop it so now that we have our three elements if we click here on the main container we can now choose our direction which is horizontal all i have to do now is to customize the sizes so let's say i want to reduce my logo i can just reduce it like that now i'm still in my container so what I can also do is to make this 100%. Click here on this drop down, set this to 100%. So far, so good. I mean, everything is pretty uh, straightforward here. And let's say I want things spaced evenly. I can just click here on space evenly. And now everything has been um, spaced uh, evenly. Now my logo here is way too big. I can just minimize the size like that. And if I want everything all in a straight line, because right now we can see things are not in a straight line, I can just click here to center and everything is now centered. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to create my header. And once I'm done, I can apply this to the whole website. I can give it conditions, which I think also this is a great touch to the builder itself and how uh, the theme builder works. So, so if I wanted to save this and publish this, notice what happens. It's asking me for a condition. So if I add that, I can say entire website and then click save and close. So now my header is going to be applied across the whole website. Now let's see if that has worked. I'm going to refresh this. And sure enough, this is applied across the whole website. So I can create different types of headers and apply them to, let's say, blog posts, or I can apply them to specific pages, even landing pages of some sort. So this is very good control. And I like the implementation of the um, theme builder here. Okay, so let's see how the mega menu works. So I'm going to click here to go to vertical so that I can add it easily. So over here, I'm going to click on this plus button and look for my mega menu. So it's called menu. We can just drag and drop it. Now let's go back to our structure here. So to customize our mega menu, all you have to do is to click on this little pencil icon and then you can start giving you all your titles. So let's say this is our home. Just add your home like that. And this is where you'd link. So you can go to dynamic tags or you can paste a URL in here. So there's several ways you can add links to your pages. So let's say this one here is a um, menu. You can choose now to add drop down content just by saying yes, like that. And now we're going to see an arrow, uh, which is pointing down. So this is how you now add content onto that drop down. And literally you can add anything in here. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to click here on this plus button. And uh, let's say I want to start by um, adding a form and some text. So I can just drag and drop 
my text in here. I can also add, let's say, an image. Click on this plus button, drag and drop my image in here. The same way we use our containers, if I click here on this container, I can change my direction. I can also add a background color to that container. And I like this implementation. It is very, very easy to use. So let's say this is uh, what it looks like. I'm going to hit publish. Now let's do a quick preview. If I refresh this, you notice now that we have our menu. And if I hover over it, this is now our mega menu. We can add buttons here. We can add videos. We can add login forms. And when you let go, it just pretty much goes away. So there's high customization here in the mega menu. So as you can see, there's a lot of elements that we can use in Elementor to uh, enable us to build the type of websites that we want. And I really, really, really like this. Elementor has a ton of features and I like the fact that it integrates with so many services. So let's say you want to build an online store. You can integrate very well with, uh, let's say, WooCommerce. If you want to sell products on your website, in fact, let me show you this quick little feature. So over here, let's say I want to sell a product on my site. I would come over here to pages, click on add new. And uh, we are now going to um, give this a title. So let's just call this um, something. Click on publish. And then I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. So this is for those of you that want to just uh, create something on their website and pretty much just sell it quickly. Okay, so now let's create our structure. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and we're going to go with uh, this structure right here. Next, I'm going to add my image. So to do that, click on this plus button, drag and drop my image, or this could be even a video, just in case this needs to be a video that talks about the product. Click on this plus button. I'm going to drag my, and let's say I need my button here for people to buy the product. Click on this plus button. And this time I'm going to search for Stripe. Now notice that I can just go ahead, drag and drop my Stripe button just like that. Okay, so for this to work, what I need to do is to create an account with Stripe and then bring my API key in here. So this is my product. I'm just going to call this uh, Mac course. And my currency here is US dollar. Over here, I can add my price. Let's say this is uh, $97. Quantity one, shipping, all that needs to be left like that. And then for the button here, I can also go ahead and customize it further. But this button now, as soon as someone clicks on it, so as you can see, this is where all my payment options would come in. I could also add some taxes if I need to, but at the moment here, I'm leaving it at none. And over here on the button, I can also go in and uh, further customize this button here to make it look the way I want. But as you can see, it is very, very easy for me to set up a quick page. And now with that button in here, people can purchase whatever product it is that I'm selling on my site, which makes it which makes it easy for uh, people to just use Elementor to sell products on their, line, uh, on their website, even if it's just one product. And there's also PayPal. So if you are a fan of PayPal, you can search for PayPal here. And again, we can just drag and drop it. And now we have our PayPal buy now button. So transaction type, it says, uh, you know, check out. You can set it up as a subscription, donation, and so on. So again, I'm just going to call this uh, Mac course. And then here we have the pricing. I can add my price here at, uh, let's say, $9, the currency, and so on. So by someone clicking here, automatically, they are going to be taken to uh, the PayPal uh, processing part of it. So let's say this is my email, mac at uh, creativeastro.com. And I go ahead and publish this. Now let's do a quick preview. So let's say I click here on buy now. Notice what happens. This is taking me to PayPal. It's telling me how much the product is. Right there is the price. And once I log in, I can make a purchase. That was done in just a few clicks. So this is really, really, really powerful. And I like the fact that this is inbuilt into Elementor, making it versatile. You can use this for selling products. You can use this for email marketing. You can use this for e-commerce websites. You can use this for basic portfolio website. So you can pretty much use Elementor to design any type of website you'd like. Now, there's also other features that I haven't covered, things like pop-ups, things like the loop grid and so on. These are all features that help us design our website sites and make them look really, really, really awesome. So overall, I think Elementor is fantastic. It's very easy to use. It's fast because of Flexbox. It's also very, very versatile. You can use this to design different types of websites, including e-commerce websites, uh, single products. You can use this for marketing. You can use this for building your own websites and you can use this as an agency. So I'm going to uh, be creating another video which talks about how to uh, set up Elementor as an agency and how you can use all the extra features. But most importantly, Elementor also has the hosting 
itself. So this is well optimized for Elemental. I haven't really touched on it. This is going to be a separate video. So I give Elemental a thumbs up and I am pretty sure you can agree with me that this is a really, really big contender in the page builder market out there. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Give all your comments in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.